Yo, what is going on guys? Guiding Light here and welcome back to a brand new Destiny video. Today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to get the medallions for your quest line in order to continue along the path to unlock the Galahorn. So all you guys actually have to do to unlock this quest is complete the main storyline and then head to the Plaguelands to start your free run missions. Just if you're trying to be super efficient about it, you can actually do your patrol missions while doing this quest as well and that way you kind of kill two birds at one stone and just get things done a little bit quicker. So once you have unlocked the quest line to collect the medallions, you have to go to about six or seven different areas along the plague lands and find the medallions that spawn in. Now it's not really too hard, once you get in the vicinity of them, a little triangle will pop up and show you exactly where to get them, so they're not really too hard, you don't have to go hard around to searching too much, but this guide will help you guys get them a bit faster, and this way you don't have to spend time roaming around or anything like that, and you can just go and collect your medallions. So the first medallion is right here in the Archon's Keep, just head over into this back corner and you should easily find that medallion and pick it up. And just check your quest before you leave to make sure that you've actually completed it. And then you are on to the next site. So the next medallion is quite easy to find and it is in the bunker. Just head to the spawn of the plague lands and head to the left. It should be the first area that comes up. And then you might as well, while you're over here, head up to this tower and collect this SIVA fragment. That's actually quite important if you want to get the Galahorn later on. So it's best just to go up and come up here and collect this fragment as well in this watchtower. So once you have your SIVA cluster, just head over into the bunker, which is right here on the left, and it's quite easy to find the medallion, it's just right around the corner, and all you need to do is just hold up square again, pick that up, and then just remember to check your quest to make sure you've actually picked it up, and then you are on to the next area, which is just around the corner from here, to pick up another medallion. So once you leave the bunker, just head to the right and follow along the pathway with your sparrow, and you should come to a bridge, this is where the next medallion can be found, and it's actually quite easy to see. All you need to do is just hop on your sparrow, go around the corner, and it will be right there along the path on the first set of crates. So this next medallion can be found in the Giant's Husk, and big shout out to my friend Sniper and a Diaper for helping me find this one. Definitely would not have been able to find it without him, and he was definitely a big help here for this medallion. So in order to find this one, all you actually have to do is just head over on top of the bridge with your Sparrow. If you guys don't know how to get to this area, it's to the right of where you spawn in in the actual Plague Land. So once you spawn in at the Plague Lands, just head to the right, go through this little cave, and right on the other side of that cave, you will find yourself entering the Husk. So once you're here, all you need to do after that is you could climb up this little mountain here on the right, and head over to where I am now to get another medallion. Now once you have this medallion, there's only two or three left, and they're actually quite easy to get as well. So let's get on into the next ones. So for this next medallion, we are actually at Felwinter's Peak, the brand new social space, and this one's actually quite easy to find and see once you're spawned in. You just need to jump up a few of these rocks, and it's actually the beginning to a very cool jumping puzzle, which at the top, you can find another SIVA cluster if you're still looking for those as well, on track for your Galahorn. So all you really need to do now is just jump over to this portion of it. This is really just a small fraction of the actual jumping puzzle, and you can continue along all the way up to the top of the peak. If you want to, it's pretty cool once you get up there, and like I said, there is a SIVA cluster up there as well, so if you're still looking for those, you can find one at the top of this jumping puzzle. Now for the next medallion, we are on Lord's Watch, which is the exact spot that you spawn in at the Plaguelands. Once you spawn in, just look to the right, and you will see this little room in here. All you actually have to do is just walk inside, and you will find another medallion here on the shelf. Now the final medallion can be found on Site 6. Now this one's a little bit tricky, it does take a little bit of time to get in here. So what you need to actually do is find your way to... The original medallion I just showed you, now if you find this place on the right here, that's when you know that you're in the right place. You head into that little room there on the right, and you can follow that pathway down into the next area. So make sure you have your sparrow, it's going to make things a lot faster. Just take it all the way down in here, otherwise you're going to be walking for quite a bit. Just make your way down this area, it's called the Warrens, and then that means you're going in the right direction. All you actually have to do from this point is just remember to stay on your sparrow and go down these little pathways down here. The, tight, the corners are a little tight, and once you get to this point, your sparrow actually won't fit anymore. You're going to have to blow it up or just make sure it doesn't get stuck like mine did. Make your way down these little corridors. I'm sure you'll remember this place from one of the strikes, and then that's when you will find yourself in Site 6. Now, once you're in Site 6, it's pretty easy from there. You just head over to the back left corner where the door is, 
where you would put a splicer key in if you'd like to access that area, and to the left of that you will actually find, instead, the final medallion. So now that you, once you have all these medallions, whichever order you guys decided to do them in, you turn in that quest it, at Felwinter's Peak, and that will continue along your journey in order to unlock the Galahorn. So if you guys are interested in unlocking the Galahorn, just stay tuned to my channel. I should be releasing a guide on how to do that fully within a couple of hours of this video. So if you haven't seen that yet, it should be up. And as soon as it is, I will leave an annotation in this video to that. But other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. That's how you get every single one of the Iron Medallions. If you guys are having a little trouble looking for them, drop a like if this helped you out and subscribe for future guides. And I will see you guys later on in that Galahorn video. Peace.